Hey guys, it's your girl Teresa. Welcome to the Dental Assistance Corner. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back to the Dental Assistance Corner. And in this video, I am going to talk about my current job as a hygiene assistant slash dental assistant floater. Um, when I tell people, even people that I work with, that I'm a hygiene assistant, they're like, well, what do you do as a hygiene assistant? Like, I didn't even know hygiene had their own assistants. I'm like, yeah, yeah, they do. Um, but it's not a position that's offered, like, at a lot of places. So um, that's why a lot of people don't know about it. Um, and the other thing is just that uh, anything that you know do as a hygiene assistant is something that a dental assistant can do. So it's not like it's a, oh, well, you're a dental assistant you get to go be a doctor right now you know it's not like it's that much difference of a position um, but depending on your exact situation the office that you work in um, like me since I'm a dental um, a hygiene assistant slash dental assistant floater slash dental assistant I pretty much do everything versus I've been to some places to where they have a hygiene assistant but that hygiene assistant is a hygiene assistant a hygiene assistant only so um, one thing is still gonna vary depending on the office I'm gonna try not to say depending on the office too much but that is gonna make a big difference um, <laughs> so one of the things is that um, some offices may still have you seeing the patient um, one office I've been to did have the hygiene assistant seat the patients. The office I work at now does not have the hygiene assistant seat the patients for hygiene. Of course, the dental assistant seats them for the dentist, but not um, the hygiene assistant, which isn't like a really big deal. I feel like it varies. Um, the office I went to that did have the hygiene assistant seat the patients, there was only one hygienist versus the office I work at now. We have way more. Um, there's like four to five working at a time um, so there's <laughs> that um, my main job though is one to keep the hygiene instruments sterilized of course that's important um, the office I work at now does have a separate sterilization lab for hygiene and a separate one for the regular instruments just because hygiene has their own sets of instruments because they pretty much just need a mirror, scaler, explorer, sometimes cotton forceps, but they don't need an anatomical carver. They don't need, ooh, my phone is about to die. <laughs> Sorry. They don't need an anatomical carver. They don't need um, a condenser or anything like that. So like that is pretty much why theirs are separate. Uh, so that way they don't have all these instruments that they continue to not use. Um, most offices are going to have a way that they determine which ones are which. Like the office I work at now, hygiene has theirs in the sterilization pouches. And they also have colored bands around them um, or like a colored tape or something like that because each hygienist has her own instruments you know that are hers so I also do that I deliver them to their rooms um, of course depending on whose is whose or if it's in our hygiene closet then of course I'll put it in there um, I've been to one place that had them in cassettes but they had everything in cassettes so the hygiene cassettes were a different size then the other ones you can visually tell by looking at it um, I've been to one place all the cassettes were the same size so you would just write what it was if you were the person who packages and sterilize it then you would write HYG or you would write composite you would write root canal whatever that was just so again you know um, because even if a hygienist gets a regular packet yeah he or she will be able to use it because you can get the explorer the scaler whatever out of it but then it's all these other instruments that you technically want to re-sterilize anyway that just go to waste so you may as well make sure they have their own um as i said i've only been to two offices that have had a separate hygiene and regular sterilization lab the other ones pretty much had them all in one lab which is why that would be very important to know which is which it makes it a little bit easier when it's in separate labs but not really um my other job 
is to go in and do what's called perio sharding, which if you know you know are in dental assisting or in dental field period, you know what that is. If not, it's pretty much when the dentist goes in and checks the health of your gums, make sure there's no signs of um, gum disease, bone loss, anything like that. Um, and I'll be the one who goes in and types in the numbers. That is something that a hygienist can do his or herself, but it makes it a lot easier if um, the assistant or anybody else does it it makes it quicker and it makes it more sanitary because most people don't want you touching the computer and then touching their mouth even if you have a barrier over the computer it still makes it a little difficult to actually type it in um, and again it just makes it a lot quicker if you have somebody there who can help you with it hey why not <laughs> um, I also do help them clean their rooms um, it's not a whole lot to clean but it does make it a lot easier a lot faster just because usually um, especially like the office I work at now hygienist works in the same room the whole day you know they're not able to do what a doctor does and just say hey leave that room dirty get somebody else to clean it later let's go to another room you know they need that same room cleaned wiped down everything for the next patient to come in um, so two people can get it clean even faster even if it only saves 30 seconds you know that that matters a lot especially if they're already behind or I'll clean the room for them while they're walking the patient back and I'll at least have most of it done for them already um, because I know that I do try to go in and take their tray for them which pretty much is just where the dirty instruments and gauze and everything are I try to take that out of the room and get that started um, so all they have to do is wipe it down if that um, another thing that I do is I'll try to set up the x-ray machine for them which is the panoramic x-ray pretty much it's an x-ray that takes an x-ray of all your teeth at once and your um, yeah, all you see that once spins around your head whatever it's always something that you have to set up so I'll try to set that up for them because that makes it a lot faster a lot easier um, so that's pretty much what I do as a hygiene assistant but at the same time I also act as a floater um, for a dental assistant which pretty much means if they're you know understaffed or somebody is late from lunch or somebody really needs to take a lunch you know I'll be that person that fills in which is a double-edged sword because it's great for me because I'm getting the experience. I'm learning to become a better dental assistant, which if you watch my videos, you know why that's important to me. But then at the same time, it puts me and the hygienist behind because there's nobody there to do my job for me. Even though I'm helping somebody else do theirs, it's not necessarily somebody there to help me do mine. So then that kind of puts us all behind. So it's like, I guess that's the double-edged sword. Um, but I do try to step in because I do understand and I want to learn and I want to get better and I like most people I'm a hands-on learner so I need to physically do it I can't just watch it I can't just watch a video I can't just read about it. like I need to physically go in and do it um, but I am a full dental assistant on Saturday so I do feel like I am getting a little bit better I really do love dental assistant. I really want to try everything I can to be the best dental assistant that I can be. But, um, you know, we got to start somewhere. And I'm probably forgetting something. Um, I want to open up a Q&A really soon. So if you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask me in the comments. I will definitely answer them. If I get a lot of questions, I'll just do a whole Q&A video. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as long as you can handle the tubes. <laughs> Bye.